why they make laws that two men or two women can get married. Mm -hmm. So there's no consequences for yep. sin. Yep. Okay. And but you're gonna pay. Yep. You're gonna pay regardless. Hey, I've been meditating on this on. this week. Esau has made a perfect world to where you have to hide righteousness. Yeah. It's so yeah. perfectly made yeah. for wickedness. Yeah, man. man. What's up, bro? My co-workers, my manager, she's, uh, she's, you know, gay. They're glorifying her about, we gotta get ready, she's having a baby. I'm trying to figure out, this is the second one. <laughs> and they ain't boasting about it. I'm like, well, how, what? Right. She ain't laying with no rod nor right. a wife. Like, That's wicked. You know? Go That's like, bank. celebrate this, yeah. sperm bank. Know? Yeah, sperm bank. And then now you don't even now you can think they could think in their mind where well, I'm not connected with this man. Yeah. I got this from a sperm bank. Yeah. You know? So they that's, that's gonna raise confusion with the child. Yeah. So the child gonna get raised up so the child gonna get raised up with two women yeah. and don't see a man only feminine energy if it's a if it's a boy child. And then what is he what is he gonna grow up to be? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna grow up to be Good confused and feminine and shit. This country ain't gonna last forever. To... There yeah. you go. Yeah, exactly. man. Exactly. Cause exactly. yeah, they're right. And they trying to make a man have a baby and all that shit. Hey, the Lord is slow to anger. Yeah, yeah right. Hey. Lord, great and right. Yeah, and long, it's... long suffering. Yeah. And he hey, says that he's, he's, go ahead, bro. he's angry with the wicked every, every day. day. Yeah. Now imagine if the Lord was like us, we acted based off our anger. This whole world would be through. Right? But that's why he's, he's he's slow to anger. But the day that he releases his wrath, because the, the day's coming where he's going to release his wrath, and a lot of you motherfuckers are going to experience it, man. But, but the men of the Lord that try to be righteous to the best of their ability, right? We're going to experience the Lord's mercy. But we're going to witness his wrath on all you people, man. Yeah. All right? It's going to be chaotic out here. Yeah, you, do, right? thing, you do things as a man, he, it's a threat. You grow your beard, you know, you got bass in your no, voice. You just say no. You rock upright. You say no. Yeah. And oh, oh my way. Yeah. They, 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 you say no. Why yeah. you talk to me like that? Yeah. Look, you look, look when I know. Like you say, bring the no. Like yeah. You think you're fucking. Yeah. Oh, no, you're asshole. trying to control me or you're being an asshole. You mean. You mean. You say no. Yeah, people, we're mean to people. We, <laughs> we the most beautiful people in the world, but we're mean. I you remember, know? uh, um, me and the brothers, we were at El Pollo Loco, which eating some food. This fucking thing came up to us asking us for a dollar, right? And the brother said, no. Right? And this weird ass said, why you gotta say it like that? And we say just no. Why you gotta why you gotta say it like that? You know, it's like it's like we just, we just said no. You know, because yeah. this world this exactly. world, you know, this, this world is too soft. Yeah. Like I was we were talking earlier in the car. Yeah. You know, this world, it feminizes you, man. Yeah. It feminizes the men. Yeah. The men are just too soft, man. Yeah. yeah. Man, a man can't even take another man talking to him. It's yeah. just like, oh, yeah, yeah. what's going to happen next, you know? Yeah. Am I being recruited? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. The, you know? the world, that's why they got all these emojis. You got to send a smiley face every time right. you send a text or a laugh out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Like, Go ahead. I'll end it right here. It says, uh, yeah, verse 6. Like, he saith in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. All right? Yeah, I'll never be moved. Would I read it again? All right, yeah. And it's, uh, and you start. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You want me to continue on? Or? <laughs> no, 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 all right. This is uh, ending of verse 6. It says, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. And it's mine. I shall not be moved. Go ahead. Yeah. I shall never be in adversity. Yeah. You know, he truly believes that he's not going to be, uh, you know, in these chains when oh. Yahweh shall return. Hey, look, what are you reading? Uh, yeah. Psalms 10 and uh, oh, okay. 6. That's, 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 that's him that's, too that's, saying, who shall bring me to the ground? Yeah. yeah. You know, the pride of thine heart, like the brother just, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. Yeah. You, you are the seed, the deceiver, no, no, no. but you have been deceived. Like the Lord's scripture said, the deceived and the deceiver are mine. Yeah. Okay, because the Most High controls both sides, man. They don't know that. Okay, and this, these scriptures are, are his words yeah. that he spoke before everything even uh, was made. And they all, all these words are going to come to pass regardless if you believe it or not. Exactly. If you adhere to it or not. Okay, if you take heed or not. Okay, but your best bet is to take heed. Yeah. Because nothing Esau is saying 
is going to come to pass. But the words of the Lord are, are true. Mm -hmm. It's going to stand, man. Yep. Go ahead. I got wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. <clears throat> then the righteous man shall stand in great boldness mm -hmm. before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labor. Yeah, they didn't make no, and whether they think we the righteous or not, we're reading the word of a righteous, the righteousness, the righteous people. Whether they believe in reincarnation or not, and that uh, uh, John the Baptist was came back, you know, and you know, basically Elijah and and, and and the prophets, whether they believe it or not, we're speaking the Bible, words of the Bible, man. To this very day, directly to them, man. Go ahead, and it, and then it apply everything applies to them. We don't. We're standing up in right, uh, righteousness and a great boldness. And what did it say? Uh, you I, don't, I don't think you finished it. But uh, like we always say, this wouldn't have happened way back then. We couldn't even consider three fifths of man. Look at the cops pass us by. They'd be like, hey, guy. Yeah, well, two, two Jakes just passed us by. I seen them trying to kind of turn their head over uh -huh. here and look. But then he just put his head all the way up in yeah. the sky. Guess what? Condemned? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But he, 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 he put his head extra high up in the air yeah. and started walking more boldly, okay? Oh, but all that, what it say, uh, in that day, the mighty man should uh, cry there bitterly, yeah. man. And be as a woman. Yeah, they're going to be like women, man. And then when his life flashes in front of his eyes, he's going to see that. Yep. Yeah. He's going to see how he's walking. I, don't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walking all proud. Yeah. Because the Most High said he ain't a... proud about, bro? You're in fucking captivity. Most High said he ain't a proud look, man. Yeah, a proud look, man. So you, image is important. Or your, what do you call it? Your persona, your... How you conduct yourself. Yeah, you yeah. conduct yourself, your character. Yeah. Martin Luther King said himself that he, he bugged out. He was a homosexual. But he said, judge not by the skin color, but the content of your, your yeah. character. Yeah. We basically say that, but we just know that Esau is Esau. That's all. Go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness yep. before the face of such. You might as well read out, uh, a little bit more there, because that, that's, I love, I love those, that scripture. I mean, those, put it, you know, go ahead. It's, it's like, it. go ahead. Such as have afflicted him. Now, who has afflicted us? So-called white man. In every kind of way. Psychologically, mentally, spiritually. Broken us down, killing us in the street, buck breaking. That's madness, bro. You you should you, they, you hear about that, you be like, yeah, that's the fucking devil, man. That's the enemy, man. The fuck who fucking does that, man? Right. You like the whole world will come come yeah. together and say, man, we gotta stop this, yeah. man. We gotta stop this devil. Oh, we gotta man. stop him right. from doing what the fuck he doing, yeah, creating GMO, putting chemi chemicals in the water, in yeah. the air, everything of your whole uh, daily life is uh, 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 what we, what would you call it? Uh, Infested, infested yeah. with wickedness, man. Infested, okay. Who's coming against the wicked, man? Nobody. Everybody is going along, drinking that Babylon juice, yep. man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like you said, this would have been army set up for that, man. Like that. Right. Because yeah. he, because he, he gonna, he gonna implement that in all the rest of the place. Yeah. That's why you got, you got Pink City. Yeah. You got all these other nations over here. Got McDonald's and. All these other fast food that has human meat up in it, okay? Yeah. That kind of madness. Well, that all goes back to the covenant that these heathens made with the wicked and evil, and how to destroy the people on this side, yeah. Israel, yeah. the Israelites. Yeah. And, and the thing about it is, our people don't even know that these enemies, our, our enemies, is, is trying to destroy them, man. Yeah. They think that they're they're all they're all they think that they're you know like we were saying earlier how you know you got Jake that's don't think all. Oh, Edomites are bad. All yeah. so-called white people are, are bad. Yeah. If you're an Edomite, you're the devil, man. Yeah. Hey, right. only the they, devil would have everybody walking around with a dang old mask on. You can't even breathe, man. You can't breathe. That's the first step of life is breath. Yeah. Okay? You need breath before you need water, man. I heck, Okay? Get and, then, the and then cut the trees down on top of that. Right. It's like, damn, I can't have no Let's oxygen see. in this motherfucker. Put plastic in the water. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that other thing? You uh, fluoride. Fluoride. Okay. Put chemical trails up in the air. You breathing air that's full of metals. Yeah. Okay. Now your whole body is full of metals. Yeah. Right. You hearing uh, 
screeching sounds and stuff yeah. because your your body now is is in tune with these uh, uh what do you call them the uh, the, the frequencies that yeah. he's putting out here okay oh, i got to i got to Riding around like the earth is gonna be here for another two, ten years and shit. I mean, the people they riding around as if they ain't gonna have to take that Maxine or yeah. that chip, yeah. Yeah. and that they gonna they gonna have a food ration out to them, okay? And that their daughters and his sons gonna be crying for food, okay, and shelter, okay? Wow, uh, this is Lamentations one and three. Judah has gone into captivity because of affliction. And because of great servitude, she dwelleth among the heathen. Man. She findeth no rest. No rest. We ain't got no rest. And then Micah 2 and 10 says, this is not a rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. Hey, even in the so-called restful places like the park, carrying a call to cops on you and shit. Go ahead. The ways of Zion do mourn, because none come to the solemn feast. All her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Her adversaries are the chief, her enemies, and what is our main adversary? Esau, the so-called white man. Alright, and, and then the other nations on down. After that, they all, like if you read Psalms 83, they all made a cahoots on how they could destroy the people on this side. Yeah. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says her adversaries are, are the chief, her enemies prosper. And that's what they do. Like you could, it backs up what backs us up uh, the parable of Nazareth. Yeah. All right, even these other nations prospered off all our affliction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's it so says, "Her adversaries are the chief; her enemies prosper, for the Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions." And the reason why these nations are over us, the reason why we're constantly being afflicted, is because we sinned against the hour of and Yahweh. This is a punishment. Right? We're not brought here to, to establish a kingdom or establish a home or rest here. Yeah. We're, we're established here. We're brought here to serve punishment. And that's the thing with our people. They don't know that. They don't know that they're brought here to serve punishment. Yeah. Here it is. They're constantly getting killed, constantly being oppressed, and they still want to be in cahoots with their enemy. This All right? is the time out space. This is a space like your, your mother will tell you that like the white people. Go, go sit in that corner. You know, you're on time out. Okay? America is a time out for the Israelites, man. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because what they do, you, you, they, what they tell you, think about what you just did. Yeah. Meditate. But they our meditate people don't what? They yeah. do not consider, man. Yeah. They don't consider that this wrath is coming down onto them from the Lord, man. Huh? And they're gonna consider it when, when, when it comes. And that's going it's gonna be too late for them when they do realize it. All right. They gonna when, when the Lord starts judging our people. Our people, is, is, it's going to be so bad that our people are going to have to come to the realization that this is the Lord doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right? when you... Because the Lord hasn't shown his power, he hasn't shown his anchor in so long. When he does it, it's going to be obvious it's from the Most High. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. even though Esau, he's trying to bring his new order and thinking that he got under control, it's going to be out of his control. All right? Because you're going to have things that are going to be unexplained to the ones that, that are in dark, the ones that don't know. Like, you're going to have evil spirits. Spirits, you literally gonna the right. spirits are gonna show themselves. How can Esau explain that? Exactly. All right. How how yeah. new security creatures? Right. How you can how can you explain that, man? All right. Uh, Leviathan. Yeah. How you can explain that? Mm. Yes. Okay. How can yeah. you explain that? That's why right. the most I said. Who, who should put a hook in and draw him out? <laughs> man, it can't. might be more than one Leviathan too. No, yeah. no, there is. You know? That's the Lord created two of every creature. You know, of everything, man, fe female. So. Right. There, there has to be multiple yeah. Leviathans. Right. All right, there has to be. Yeah. All right, come on. We all gonna, we're all going to ride Leviathans and kill them. Right. Get hey. every, we know. Brothers going to want to ride, ride on top of Leviathan, man. It has to be more than one. Yeah. Because yeah. he yeah. mentioned Enoch and Leviathan in the same in the same sentence, man. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. more than one Enoch. So. It says, um, her enemies prosper, for the Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Yeah. Her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. And who's the enemy? The so-called white man. These other yeah. nations have gone into captivity under them. Yeah. And we're still in captivity. Yeah. 
They don't. That's the illusion that we're free. We're not free. We've never been free. All right? We're just in more. Majority of our people are more in a mental slavery. You just don't know who you are. All right. It says, and, and from the daughter of Zion, it's another name for Jerusalem, right? All her beauty is departed. Her princes are become like hearts that find no pasture, and they are gone without strength before the before the pursuer. Yeah, the beauty of Israel was us uh, with the Most High. Yeah. You know how you see a woman? She's uh, she's married and. Order. Yeah, in order, and she's glowing and shit. Loyal to her man. Loyal yep. and shit, and she got a family and shit. Taking care, she's Taking in her right mind. In yep. her right mind. That's like, beauty man, that's, that's beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. That's why they people look up on our people when they see their families. They say, y'all got a beautiful family, man. Yep. Because they yep. see everything structured and shit. Especially when you see them in order. Yeah, when you see you them know, in order, man. The kids are listening to the parents now all over the place. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're respectful, you know. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, man. Hey, my, my grandson told his mother and the daughter she she's in the truth you know? she, she, she's conformed herself she's did a complete 180 okay and her whole household shows it and uh, she told me that her son told her that he want a wife like her uh, yeah. you know, he wants yeah. a wife like his mother yeah. you know and that's the example that's it's supposed to be shown yeah. you know an example to look up to to be able to see how the word of the Lord keeping the law statutes and commandment how it makes you a better person yeah. how it changes you right. how yeah. it has you walking upright yeah walking in righteousness yeah okay because it used to be a proverb saying where it said everybody should use this proverb so like the mother so like the daughter but on the righteous side it was beautiful when that was happening Oh, you, you, you like your mother. You beautiful and you right. humble. Mm -hmm. Now it's the opposite. Yeah. But, you know, that was a beautiful thing. The woman that teach uh, her children the right, you know, and the daughter, hey, wear modest apparel. Uh, 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 you know, consider your husband the head of your house. Well, I was, it's like, bro, I was watching, did a video on this uh, little girl. She probably was like, probably like two, and she could talk. And she was there with her mother, and then they, they were doing like a conversation. She was combing her mother's hair, and her mother said, Oh, girl, child, you know what, you know, doing one of those girl child talks. And she started talking to her daughter about a man and said, Yeah, he ain't worth nothing. He ain't. And the little daughter said, Yeah, he ain't worth nothing, girl. He this and that. He's just speaking all kind of derogatory uh, uh, words about a man, teaching her at that age. Okay. Yep. That's wickedness. That's wickedness. Yeah. You that's basically teaching them to go off with the Most High, because the Most High said it didn't set it up like that. Right. right. She was supposed to say, you know what, my my man, he is so good to me. You know, he does this, he does yeah. that. You know, yep. teaching them how how it's supposed to be. Exactly. Instead and, of how she gonna grow up to be defined against her man. Yeah. And even if even if the mother is away from the father, they broke up. You still ain't supposed to have your children just honor their father. Right. You supposed yeah. to say, "Hey, we just broke up. We didn't work out, but you know." And that happens a lot. And bro. it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. You are gonna dog the same man you got like five children by and shit. Right. Hey, yeah. uh, continue on, verse seven of Lamentations one. Jerusalem remembered in the days of her affliction. Man. And of her miseries, all her pleasant things that she had in the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the enemy, yep. and none did help her. None, and none helped. Go ahead. The adversary saw her and not, and did mock at her Sabbath. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know. They mocked at us, man. When we fell, they were waiting for that day. You know. Yeah. yeah. Good. Plotting. Reading uh, the count. Yeah. Go ahead. That account of Judah. Uh, verse 8, Jerusalem have grievously sinned. Grievously sinned, man. You know, and, I, and that's all, that's what we got to learn. Like, okay, that's why these nations are against us. They, they are able to mock us. Because yep. the Most High allow us to kill these motherfuckers. They don't give a damn. Yep. He said, hey, the nations are spittle, less than nothing. Smaller than dust of the balance. Go kill them motherfuckers, man. You know, I don't want to say motherfuckers like putting, in, you know, where's the Most High? But, you know, we... we Hey, David hey. slew his ten thousands. Hey, in the negative, 
Yeah. Less than nothing is negative, man. Negative, man. Okay, you don't even exist. You don't even, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't even exist, man. Exactly. That's why they. That's how you know they ain't gonna rule the kingdom, cause we gotta be there. Right. <laughs> yeah, because y'all wouldn't even exist. Yeah. For a purpose, y'all. For y'all, purpose is to serve us to be our inheritance. Yeah. I'll give you the. I'll give you the nations for your inheritance, Israel. You know, y'all like our, uh, like a doll or something to us. You know, you know that uh, like a. <laughs> You know, a toy to us, you know, play around with y'all and shit. But y'all gonna keep the laws. Mm -hmm. But you know, we gonna have fun too with y'all, man. Mm -hmm. We gonna rule with a rod of iron, but we gonna be, man. Uh -huh. He's so he having gonna, fun with us. He's he having fun with He's us. He's having fun with us. Uh, I was watching this one show. Uh, oh, uh, on Hulu they got a, a series to play. I mean, the Purge. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. And so the elite, while everybody is purging, the elite is. They're all in tuxedos Slapping and, and, and yeah. they're watching on the screen yeah. the purge. You know, they got people out there filming and they just watching, yeah. having fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's, what what That's, That's what they do. That's what they do. It's probably gonna happen. Yeah. In their bunkers, they probably have a good screen. Exactly. Right. And, they, and they do that right now. Yeah. Like when they see us on TV, they see us, you know, our people selling drugs and getting shot in the backyard and front yard arguments and killings and shit. They watching us, they watching Jake. Like 9-11, I'm, I'm sure they had a front, front row, row seat, seat yeah. to watch those towers come down. Yep. Yeah, oh, there was a, uh, uh, they said that Evelyn Rothschild was, uh, I forgot what building, he was in the building, mm -hmm. and he saw it all took, mm -hmm. go down, man. What did it say in the scriptures, they, they, they are safe from uh, mm -hmm. harm, paraphrasing? They safe, man. Go ahead. Uh, Jerusalem hath grievously sinned, therefore she is removed. Removed, right. man, like uh, a, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it said you should. Removed like a menstrual woman, like an unclean yeah. woman. Okay. Yeah. Precept today. Okay. Jeremiah 7 and 15. And I will cast you out of my sight. Yeah. Because I have cast out your, your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Yeah, we and when it says in the first Kings, it says, not only e Ephraim went off, but Judah too was cast out of sight. I got a precept for you. This is the book of Abel's on three and two. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Yeah. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah. So just to back up that verse right there, man. You know, the right. Lord is punishing us, you know, for our iniquities. Exactly. And that, that proves, too, by we was called families by the our fathers. Yeah. Right. So we ain't supposed, we are a different nation than the Africans. We got our own family of our own yeah. father, yeah. Jacob. You know, go ahead. And I got another precept to prove the sight, because the Lord's sight, what is the Lord, do you know, what, what is the Lord's sight? What, what is the Lord's sight when he says, um, Jeremiah 7 and 15, and I will cast you out of my sight. What is that? Part of the land. Yeah, the land of Israel, right? To prove that, you can write, you can write it down as a precept too. Uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 12. It says, a land, I'll start, yeah, I'll have to get to the point. A land which the Lord thy power carrieth for, the eyes of the Lord, thy power are always upon it, mm -hmm. from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year. Yeah. Now land is Israel. Yeah. Okay. So the Lord He casts us out of His sight, yeah. mainly because we're polluting it. We're yeah. sinning against Him. We're sinning against the man yeah. in, in 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 His sight, in His land. So yeah. He casts us out of His sight, so, casts yeah. us out of the land, and scattered us, yeah. man. Okay. Because we sin. It also says we are the apple of His eye. We're you the know, main focus. We're the main focus. They don't so, care about these other nations. Like we quoted earlier, they're like they're like nothing, right? Yeah. Spittle. And well, a like whole fleet of chariots did a slow drive by over Israel, man. <laughs> Looked like hundreds, if not thousands, and deliberate, you know, slowly blinking, flashing, you know, being able to be caught on camera. Okay, so the Lord is still oh, watching yeah, that yeah, land, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. His eyes are everywhere now because Israel's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, going back to Jer uh, Le uh, Lamentations 1 and 8. Jerusalem had grievously sinned. Therefore, she is removed. All that honor her despised her. Man. Right? Because we were once a nation honored. Yeah. We were once these nations, they feared us. Yeah. Why, under who? Under the under King David and Solomon. Yeah. That's the time when these nations feared Israel. Yeah. They feared us. They, yeah. they reverenced us, man. All right, that's when we, that's when, you know, the, the, the kingdom of King David and Solomon was like a prelude to what we're going to receive in the kingdom, man. That's why it All says, right? uh, ye are gods, but you shall die like men. That's 
right. You know? Like one of the princes in the street, I think it says. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. It says, all that honor her despise her because they have seen her naked and they have seen, they seen, they seen no, they seen no shame. They see, yeah. they, see, they, see, they see how we sinned against the Lord, man. Yeah. They seen, they seen all of that, man. Hey, they laughed at us when we was on the auction blocks and shit. Just butt bare naked and shit. On a physical uh, analogy. They still do it to this day. Yeah. Like on, on the news, when you see uh, something happens, they always go to the crunchiest Jake out there and ask them. Yeah, the yeah. ones that can't speak, yeah. you know, have broken English exactly. and looking all destitute. Those are the ones that they put on TV, exactly. man. Because in our kingdom, ain't nobody, ain't one person gonna be like that. Right. Uh, uh, what did that woman say? One of the, one of the uh, most popular, one of the most popular ones. Uh, I ain't got time I for that. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't, it ain't for gonna that. be no women like that in the yeah. kingdom, man. Yeah, I seen them, and I was yeah. like, ooh, child. Yeah, the house is on fire. House is on fire. It's on fire. That old ain't slave talk. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's 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 slave talk, that, man. They, they love that slave connection, yeah. that shit. Go ahead, go ahead. Not, and it's, hey. it's embarrassing. Hey. Even though we don't care about her, it was embarrassing. Down in Atlanta, in Mississippi, Georgia, down in the South, it's a whole nother language. It's a whole nother language yeah. down there. If you watch that, that series of Tyler Perry, The Have and the Have Nots, they got this one girl down in, in the series and she's speaking totally ebonic, Southern draw dialect, man. That you, if you didn't, if you didn't know what she was saying, you wouldn't understand it. Yeah. You wouldn't even yeah. understand it. Yeah. I understand because I'm from down there. Yeah. I know, but a lot of people wouldn't even understand what the hell she's saying, man. Yeah. But this is what this is what they uh, portray us to yeah. be. Well, like you told me that they hold that whole system of how they set up their houses. It's slave, um, it's a psychological oh, yeah. warfare, it's, man. It's psychological warfare. They build all the houses in a row. They paint them all gray, okay? They, the window seals, the, the window where it's supposed to be white, and then the house probably another color. They paint everything gray, the porch, the window, the door, everything. Put the houses this close together. You could touch your neighbor's house and touch your house at the same time, okay? That's all, it's all, uh... No uh, privacy. Right, no privacy, yeah, but that's yeah. all warfare. And you said shotgun house? Uh, shotgun house, they call it a shotgun house because you can open all the doors and look from the front door to the back door. Through the back door, hey, okay? You can do, I was at, uh, I, just, I was working today, I went to a famous, uh, not famous, uh, suburbs. You even got these Edomites that live luxuriously, they have the houses like that too, like the houses like right here. You can literally like second story you can see your neighbor mm -hmm. change yeah you know if the windows were open and shit yeah. so that's you know? esau being greedy because they want to build on that land and they they say well can we fit one more on there one more house on there you know that's another mm -hmm. what five six hundred thousand dollars that's all you know the reason why they keep people like that in the houses and apartments is all all for control yeah oh yeah yeah like like they said uh there's too many people on there but yet you go to these hills and you go travel and shit. It's all kind of land out there and shit. Man. Well, maybe if y'all spread some people out and shit, every man, it wouldn't be so damn many people. Every, every person should have their own acres of land. Yeah. Instead of fighting over snow and you know, you know, if y'all seen that video. Yeah. You know, you got you got neighbors, you got neighbors fighting each other over over uh, over a pile of snow. Well, you know, they you know? said that everybody in the whole world could fit into the state of Texas. Texas yeah, that was just thinking yeah, that. Was just thinking. See? Yeah. Yeah. So that means everybody has, a, it, it's enough land for you won't even be able to see your neighbor. Yeah, I don't right. want to see my neighbor. Yeah. Okay? That's right. I, I, yeah. I, hey, I'm driving my, I was, if I was parking my house, I see my neighbor come out, sometimes let's go somewhere else. Yeah. Go in the park, because he's one of those guys who just talks to me. You're dealing with 200 people in an apartment, and then you ain't supposed to uh, hear your neighbor having sex with his wife and shit. Right. Cause that put demons on you. That could be demons on your head. She's moaning and groaning and shit. Yeah. Oh shit! You ain't the the to worst hear that. thing I heard and shit was I was standing in this apartment, and they they were doing the plumbing, and so they had to break out my bathroom to the next guy's bathroom adjacent to me and it was a big hole they just put paper they just taped some paper up and this guy was a, a h-o-m-o 
Oh. And one time I walked in, the, I walked into the bathroom, was about to use the bathroom, and I hear two guys over there moaning and shit, man. Oh, no. oh, that's what lot probably Vex, man. That's what my life. Yeah. Heard his Hell, yeah. You should be able to make a phone call. Oh, we'll take care of that right away. Uh, we you know. But in this land, oh well, just move. The fuck out of here, man. I ain't supposed to have to hear that shit, man. Go ahead. The back in Limitations 1 and 9, it says, Her filthiness is in her skirts. She remembereth not her last end. Talking about uh, Israel, right? Yes, yeah. Therefore, she came down wonderfully. She had no comfor comforter. Comforter. Yeah. Comforter, slock it. So, oh, Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy hath magnified himself. That's why the Most High mad with us, because we're supposed to be a representation for everybody to follow. But it, filth, it had filthiness in uh, uh, Israel's skirt too, just like it talks about America. Lifting the, the, her skirt being lifted. See, Most High, remember in the beginning, he cursed he, Adam, Eve, and the devil, and the serpent. He cursed everybody, man. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Or, the adversary has spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things. Yep. Got all our stuff, man. Even our heritage, our land. Took our gold. Our, this gold belongs. Well, you know, Most High said the gold and the silver is His, but through 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 Him and Yahweh Shai, we supposed to have that gold. We supposed to walk on it, man. What's He so doing with it? It's yeah. all stored. It's all stored it's inside and shit. Good. It's for us anyway. Yeah. We come collected. When, yeah. when is when is due time? He know? has his chariot, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, the you know? Queen of Queen of England. She had the uh, a mass gold chariot. Yeah. Chariot made out of gold. Hey, it's probably a few brothers, but how many percentage of, of brothers, even uh, amongst the two thirds, have ever rode on a horse, man? You know what I'm saying? And we we supposed to be those people that ride on horses, man. Yeah. You know, unless you have to go to a park or something or some Esau set up and shit narrate, and you have to pay him to ride on a yeah, horse and I shit. Yeah, I was I was trying to you know we went to uh you know that uh the, when the brothers came from Dallas and everywhere uh, everybody, I was trying to uh, ride a horse. I yeah, 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 yeah. Like hundred thirty dollars for like an hour or two. Come on, man. For one person. Yeah. I never rode a horse. I always wanted to <laughs> see what it's like to experience the ride with, man. You know. Yeah, man. But yeah. I, have, I, have, I have to put, of course, in the East Coast, well, you gotta put money, money down to, to have a little bit of fun. That's that's uh, wicked. That's, that's too man. much. Hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, man. Get out of here, yeah, man. man. Yeah, but see, that's that's to put it out of one, reach. Too. That's to put it out of reach of Jake. Yeah. They don't want that Jake type of feel. Jake. To, yeah, exactly. They don't yeah. want Jake to be on a horse, man. Just like you, the scripture. The, the scripture said it, man. They want Jake, Jake to still be walking on the ground as servants. Yeah. Man. Cause shit, you get on a horse, that make you you looking down at everybody. You know how <laughs> big and masculine horses are. Power. Shit, power. That's power. Yo, they, that's, a big that's power, bro. I was I was staying over in Silmar, and uh, you know they got horses over there, yeah. and. I was standing in the screen, in the screen door, you know, and I don't think the, didn't think nobody could see me, but when the horse, he was on, the guy was on the other side of the street, you know, he was riding the horse, and then when the horse got him right in front of me, that horse turned to, turned his body, turned his head to me, and went like, just like that, I was like, oh shit, a big horse too, that was power, I could feel the power from that horse, man. Okay. Crazy, yes, That's why they cut. Now they got us driving in a little engine called horsepower. Right. Uh, they got that from most of us creatures. Is it? Man. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna skip down. Verse 17. It says, "Zion spreadeth forth her hands, and there's none to comfort her." Yeah, because it's, it's another scripture that says she spread it. That she spread it uh, in lamentations. She spread it uh, toward her hands to the Most High all day long. But the Most High said in us, Isaiah, I think it's 60 or 66. Get that right quick. Isaiah 66, I think. And we'll get back to that one. This is Isaiah 66 and I'll turn at the top. Before you say you gotta find the first. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what, am, what am I looking for? Isaiah 66, uh, the, the Lord spread his hands to Zion all the day long. Oh, okay, okay. I think it's 66. Oh, yeah, that's Isaiah 664. I spread, I spread out my hands and no man regarded it. Yep. All the day long, I think it says too. Go ahead. Up. Okay. All right. This is Isaiah 66 and 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. Yeah. When I spake, they did not hear. Yeah. But they did evil before mine eyes 
and chose that which is in which I delighted not. Yeah, what did it say? It says spread all day long as our, as our, as our 65. Oh, 65 and uh, You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I spread my hands that, all the that, day long. Uh, wasn't it this one? Yeah, I thought it was, uh, yeah, 66. Uh, what did it say? If not, we'll just go on. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, wait. Well, I said 65. We might come back to it. Yeah, Isaiah 65 and 22? Uh, it says, is it looking for spread my hands? Spread my hands all the day long. Go on, go on. It says spread. Yeah, spread. Yeah. What's well, comes to mind is Proverbs 1. Yeah, I know it's definitely in Isaiah, though. Isaiah 65 and 62. Oh, okay. Okay. So, like, this is Isaiah 65 and 22. It says, no, uh, no, no, no. No. 65 and 2. Oh, 65. Oh, yeah, this is Isaiah 65 and 2. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, right. I have spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people. Yeah, so the Most High spread his hands out. Israel talking about I spread, but that's after you've done your wickedness. But the Most High spread his hands out all day long and you won't ask to go ahead. By the way, of the internet now, YouTube. Yeah, there ain't no place you can go on this earth without hearing the truth, man. Go ahead. This is I have spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people, yeah. which walketh in the way that was not good yeah. after their own thoughts. So, you know, Israel, that's why a lot of times Israel was considered a hypocrite because the Most High said, hey, I spread my hands out to you, man. I gave you prophets when you fell, I gave you dominion when you was Adam. As a nation, the Adamites, I gave you Moses. I gave you his only begotten son he sent. You know, go ahead. Up. He gave you the laws, statutes, gave and you the laws. The laws, beautiful, man. Yeah. You know, don't eat this, don't eat that. Keeps you healthy and shit. Wow. Keeps your land pure. You know, go ahead. Up. But, you know, so we got that same plague up on us for doing, uh, provoking the Most High and disobeying his laws. Go ahead. Up. Limitations 1 and 17. Zion spreadeth forth her hands, yep. and there is none to comfort her. Yeah, because who's spreading out his hands to help? Most high is. Because these heathens are not going to save us, man. They ain't going to be like, let's all get together for Israel because they've been shooting. That's why you got a, uh, uh, individual cases of us getting shot by cops. Ain't nobody standing up as a whole people saying, y'all got to kill, quit killing black men. Where is it? Where's the help? We got to end up fucking fake ass NAACP and shit. That got their own problems and shit. Then you got this nigga Grandmaster J that ain't doing shit. Yeah, he's in jail. He's, he's in jail. Then, yeah. He got, and, 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 all the, and then now you got Kamala Harris. She ain't going to do shit. Hey, speaking of the other hey. nations, Psalms 83. Mm -hmm. They're speaking of the other nations. They have taken crafty counsel against that people. Yep. And consulted against thy hidden ones. So it ain't only is I mean Esau against us. It's these nations come, come fighting. You know the uh, what do you call it? Connecting with them. Yeah, yeah, inspiring. The brother brought up the, the parable of uh, rich man and Lazarus. Man, yeah, the nations. Uh, they compared them as dogs. You know, they can the source. They can the, the source market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse okay. four. They have yeah. said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation." How are they doing that, man? With all this uh, ill philosophy, this witchcraft, and them saying that they the Jews and not synagogue of Satan, go ahead. That the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. Man, that's a that's that name has power in it, man. Yep. You tell your you tell them you're Israelite. You know, you go to any of these so-called white people, they gonna act like you. They gonna they gonna look at you like you found some gold or something. Right. It's like oh shit, they, they found out. Just like 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 you was talking about the apostle. He passed. We kept millions. It's like an underground secret with these devils that know who you are. Like, we know you're the Israelites. We're sorry. Oh, I was in a, a 99 cent store, and this African lady, she was she was uh, checking me out. I mean, uh, ringing me up, rather. And uh, it was this Jewish, Jewish lady behind me. And I don't know how the subject came up. And I was like, well, you know, we Americans are not Africans, right? She's like, yeah, I know, I know. You know, I know we're not the same, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's like, you know, we're the Jews, right? She's like, yeah, I know. 
And then the white lady, you a Jew? I'm a Jew too. I was like, no, you're not. You're not a Jew. I bust her dang on bubble right yeah. there and there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Now you hear that name, but it's not connected to the right people. Okay? Yeah. For they, Israel means he is a prince of power. Right. What they have consulted together with one consent. Man, they will all get together just to take us down, man. Yep. <laughs> they are confederate against thee. Confederate, that confederate flag. Yep. The uh, NATO EU making plans for their blueprint to keep yep. us down. They know who we are. The Rothschilds, Rockefellers, yep. right? Banking family. They know exactly who we are. These, these lower heathens, they don't know. They just got taught by their fathers that they special and shit. Right. Yeah. You know, then you got the... They show them Jewish kids and they run out and shit and they and it's all Edomites. You like that, that that don't even look right. Right. That don't even fit what, what the Jews are in the scriptures, man. Hey, 1681 was a, a pivotal point in in uh so-called race relation when they put the term white on themselves and called us black. Okay? Yeah. That was a turning point. Yeah. Now they had they had some type of leverage by using uh, white privilege, man. Okay. Yeah, so and that's a part of the conspiring, man. Right. You know? And that's why and all these nations they have to follow by Esau's policies to that they don't keep us drinking that. Like the scripture says, go unto him that give a drink to his neighbor. If they if they don't allow the, their uh, country to be run like Esau, a lot of Israelites will be doing wickedness in right. this country. Exactly. And the real white people are us. Yeah. We're the we're the white ones, pure. Okay? And they're the blacks. That's them turning things upside down, yeah. okay? Because yeah. when you look at the definition of those two words, it's completely opposite of yeah. what we are and what they are. That's why they represent that black shit, black magic. Yeah. They wear black, the Jewish people wear all black and all shit. All black. That's them. And Go ahead. So like when Jake even found out when they're great, you know, he saw brought out that whole equality thing. Mm -hmm. And then Jake would think too highly of himself. Right. You know? Yeah. That's why he came up with the, like you say, the whole equality thing. That's a, all men are what created equal. Yeah. When that's not that's not true. Deuteronomy seven and six said that the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, were created above the rest of the nations. Okay, so how can all men be created equal? Exactly, because that Martin Luther King bullshit that just passed. He said my black the black children with the white children. And if he knew better in the Bible, it don't say nothing about no black, white children. It's yeah. Israelite children and Esau, Edomite children. Man. Yeah, it so says, it. though hands join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? That's right. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the, we're talking about the filthiness under, uh, uh, under uh, Israel's skirt. Yeah. I got a precept that message warning you guys about stretching the Lord, stretching out his hands. Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and he refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So the nation of Israel don't even consider their power. They don't want to be considered a son of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, because that dude, that, that stupid dude that uh, a week ago, he said, well, call down lightning. Right. He don't even know that the, the how Most High talks to people. Well, he probably do. He probably been evil. That how he talks to us is through the prophets. You ain't going, and you wouldn't want that. Yeah, it happened before. Oh, it happened before. Right. Right. Happened with Moses. To the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord, right? The Lord just started to show himself. And, uh, <laughs> Jake was, Jake was hiding, man. Jake was running <laughs> yeah. out, scrambling, man. Yeah, you don't know what you asking for. Yeah. That's why a lot of times they say, you ask, you, you don't, you ask a miss. You don't yeah. even know what you, you, woe to them that desire the day of the Lord. You don't know what you asking for. Right. The Lord, it shall be darkness and not light. Right. Gloominess. So you, if you ask for the Lord, you want to deal with him on a personal level, he'll destroy your ass, man. Because you ain't right, man. Exactly. You know, all, all our people, all these women, I got a personal relationship with Jesus, so he's walking up into the club with you all, uh, every day and shit. He's watching, he's, he's, he's holding the camera on you. Yeah, he's holding Yeah, that's him. I've probably seen it. I go on these business accounts, but if you a God, woman, Jesus, or something. Some caught like uh, I was on this Michigan chick. Cool. Psalms forty six and three, right? Like, I'm a 
the hour, like, I bet this bitch don't know what this means. I looked it up. It says, uh, it goes into how Jerusalem, is, is, is wisdom is always with her. With Jerusalem. All right? But it made, she puts that verse, it's about women, you know? Yeah, These bitches man. untied, people put, yeah. you know, uh, uh, yeah. they put scriptures in there, like God, fear, nation. But their works show they, they're complete opposite. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, things that they, the things that they do are complete opposite of what they portray themselves. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm trying to you know, point out. Yeah, they always use the harlot thing. What about Sarah, though? The daughter she are if you do well, man. So they try to pick and cherry pick and shit to make the Bible fit them, man. Go ahead, huh? That's what they do. Yeah. Just so they can have emotionally freedom from feeling like they're going to be destroyed and shit. Well, it's going to be consumed, you're going to be consumed by this truth, man. Because that's all you're going to hear pretty soon. That's why it's the famine of the word. That's all you're going to hear is destruction coming to this place. Everywhere you walk, every street you walk on, destruction. You're going to look on the internet, it's going to be like, y'all, 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 uh, uh, females, y'all women are demons and shit. More bitter than death. They talking about they love the Bible and stuff, but in there it says they're more bitter than death. Oh, they don't want to go to that part. They be like, oh, that. Uh, yeah, well, okay, I gotta go. Shame. <laughs> I, I post things on my Instagram about that like that. They don't, they ignore it. Yeah, they, they ignore they, it. They, oh, I don't want to Yeah, no. they ain't never, and it ain't never gonna be read in the churches. Well, the churches don't exist, no, they just closed down. But they never read that in the church. Nope. They whole church will be done. Go ahead up. No. Oh, yeah. Your whole congregation will be your gone. Your whole congregation, your money that. will be gone. Yeah, if they read that, the scriptures. Yep. Yeah. Uh, back in uh, Lamentations 1 and 17, Zion spreadeth forth their hands, and there's none to comfort her. Yeah, because you look at the condition of our people. They're always seeking a savior, but they're always seeking the wrong one. So not, you know, the, the recent one is what? Biden and Kamala yeah. Harris. Yeah. You should be seeking how much me out as your savior, yeah. as your king, man. Yeah. But hey, like it says in Isaiah 17, they've forgotten the power of the salvation. Exactly. They rock of their strength. Uh, Benjamin went to uh, Selassie. Yeah. They followed me. Okay. They showed you that in the minions. Yeah. When, it, when they when they was uh they were worshiping trying to find a god to serve. Yeah. Okay, y'all remember that? Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. That shit was dope, dope right? Yeah. Yeah. They showed truth. Glad I had a little kid watching with me. You know? yeah. yeah. They showed the uh, uh, Moses yeah. and so going to yeah. going to war with the Egyptians. Yeah, yo, that movie was dope. Man. That's all yeah. about the Israelites. Yeah. You know, they were looking for a god. They was serving any god, yeah. anybody. You know. Never came into the, the, the true understanding of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But then they had Yahweh Shai in there too. Yeah, Yahweh Shai in there. He was taller than all the rest yeah. and he was their savior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, in the very beginning, they came from the waters. They broke up out of the waters. So he's exactly. taking the crown. Yeah. See, yeah. our people wouldn't look at it. They looked, they looked like a movie and yeah. stuff, like a cartoon. But see, that's, the, that's Esau mocking, yeah. mocking us, yeah. man. That was a, a sure mockery. Mm -hmm. It says, the Lord hath commanded concerning Jacob that his adversaries, all right, these other nations, yep. you can get it on other nations. Oh, shit, my water. Water, all right? Yeah, bro. These other nations, right? Um, the Lord hath commanded and concerning Jacob that his adversaries should be round about him. Jerusalem is, a, is as a menstruous woman yep. among them. Woman on her rag, man. You know, like who, you, he's uh, two third Jakes. I mean, they some the wicked, a lot of wicked niggas have gone there, man. They even say a woman, I can't deal with you because you're on your period. So how much more in righteousness, man? We look like a we a filthy rag to the Most High. Our righteousness. Go ahead. The Lord is righteous. The Lord is I, righteous. For I have rebelled against His commandments. Yeah. Here I pray you all people and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. Yep. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and my elders gave up the ghost in the city yep. while they sought their meat to revive their souls. Yep. You see, um, verse 21, it says, no, verse 20, it says, Behold, O Lord, for I am in distress. My bowels are troubled. My heart is turned within me, for I have grievously rebelled abroad the sword, bereaveth at home there is as death. They have heard that I sigh, there is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. Yep. They are glad that thou hast done it. Yeah, these nations are yep. glad that the Lord allowed them to rule and put us on the bottom, man. Okay? They're, they're happy. You can see it. You see it. These nations are rejoicing that we're at the bottom. They're, they're, they're rejoicing that there's none to comfort us. 
But right now, you see them in mourning because they see that our comforter, all right, yeah. is, 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 is we we have our comfort back through the scriptures, yeah. through Yahweh Shai, okay? That's 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 our comforter. That's our comforter, man. All right, that word is a tongue twister for, for some reason. Slock it. It says, um, "Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me." See, just like we were at the bottom, we served slavery. You other nations that that you other nations are gonna be just like us, but worse, man. All right, but worse, especially starting with Esau, Edom. Okay, it says, "Let all the wickedness come before thee." And do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. Yeah. Because because the reason why our, us people, us Israelites, are on the bottom because we sinned against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And, 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 and these nations, you're about to be put on the bottom because of, for all your works that you have done. Alright? It says, Let all the wickedness come before thee and do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many and my heart is faint. There's another scripture. Um, um, I think, let me see if I can find it. Um, I'll set them in order. No, not that one. Oh, that was good. Um, this is a good one. I got a good one real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Second uh, Ezra is 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. Reprove thy people. Comfort such that be in trouble. And now renounce corruption. And that's what the Lord is doing in the eyes of everyone. You know, the Lord is uh, uh, restoring our house in order, which is our temple first. And of Israel. That's right. Uh, this is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And who devoured us? Edom. These Edomites. Or you so-called white men as well as the other nations. They all devoured us, man. They all had us in captivity. But guess what? The time is coming where these nations are about to be devoured. And they're going to have to pay for everything that they have done. All right? It says, um, and all that adversaries, every one of them. So all the adversaries, starting from the so-called white man. Chinese, the, the Japanese, the, 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 the Arabians, all their enemies will, will, will be devoured, okay? And will go into captivity. It says, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. Yep. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Yep. And who spoiled us? Esau. Uh, they spoiled, they, they came, they, this land belonged to what? The Native Americans, the Mexicans, and then, and then what, what ended up happening? These, so-called white I men, they came along and they took, they took, they, they took their land, man, and put them in reservations and kicked them off their land, you know, and spoiled them and and hunted us like we we're praying. Yeah. Right. Further the affliction, they did abominable things to us. Right. You are supposed to have a slave and, and treat them, you know, you know, according to the scriptures, but they they did abominable things, man. Go ahead. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, and that's happening now through the elect. Through the hopeful elect, the Lord is healing us through the comforter, which is the scriptures, right? It says, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Because if you go to Lamentations 2, um, it says 2 and 15, All they that pass by clap their hands at thee. Yeah. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. Yeah. All right, that's us. All right, Jerusalem is a city, is a people before it's a place, right? All that pass by, clap their hands at thee, they hiss and wag their head. And the daughter of Jerusalem saying, is this the city that man called the perfection of beauty? Yeah. The joy of the whole earth? And instead of Israel proving that they're the Lord's beauty, they, they conform with the world. And, you know, they become that monster that these heathens make fun of. Yeah. You know? Instead of proving them wrong by yeah. coming back to righteousness. And you know what they did? Right. They they also set up an opposition of uh, that coil between us, even though that's in our spirit. Now that we come out, we are part of the fabric. They just think we, oh, there's another black group just mad and angry because the oppression and stuff. So yeah, that's they why just, they call us black Hebrews. Exactly, black, black Hebrews Hebrew. is like, yeah, yeah, you're fighting for your rights. We ain't, we ain't, no, this is all heavenly and spiritual, man. It's just like Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. You know, and they pass us by. Like, they should be, we should have a crowd of people around. Like, what the, what is this? But they, you know, America got them thinking that we just one of the, uh, that was controversial groups and right, shit. Right, exactly. You know? Yeah. But this is from the heaven. This is from the Father himself, man. Go ahead. It says, um, all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Yeah. They hiss and gnash the, the teeth. 
They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. Man, that's hatred right there, man. Yeah. I look for this day that yeah. day is gonna fall, man. Yep. Like, they, they know that we're, that if once Israel's fall, they're gonna rise up yeah. and they're gonna be in power, man. Yeah. You know? Why is everybody? Why is the power system don't go on? Why is it somebody always loses and then another person fight for the power seat? Like China got in their mind that they're gonna be the next superpower. They shouldn't have that in their mind. If somebody's gonna be ruling, they should be able to rule forever. When we rule these nations, they ain't gonna have it in their mind like we're gonna be the next superpower or wait until they fall or something. Yeah. But the already set it up, like you yeah. set up that statue in Daniel, man. Yep. Okay. The, the kingdoms were given a certain time to rule. And then after that, exactly. Israel gonna come around and yeah. it's gonna be world without end. Exactly. Yep. Okay, it's going to be an eternal kingdom. Exactly. See, that pattern was set because they, the so-called white men didn't always rule. The Babylonians, the, the Syrians. The yeah, and then the, the, the Persians, the Medes. So they know that, that struggle and power, I mean, that, that fight for a power, the a power system. But they know kingdoms that fail. They know they should, they, you know, they, could, they only have so much time. Even though in their minds they continue, think they uh, houses continue forever. But they fighting for a power seat. They're not in. They not really in power. They still going to war with these nations. It says when the uh, established, the righteous established, there should be no more war. Right. Because we gonna we gonna make it known like you can't fuck with us. Lay down, man. Yeah. Don't even think about uh, ruling the next power seat, man. Israel. Gonna, that's why I said Israel gonna rule forever, forever, forever more. Uh, you know. Does anyone know the scripture right. says? Uh, then shall the healer know that Israel went into captivity for their sins. Does anyone know where that at? Where that's at? Is that I think so. I'm trying to think of it. Can I say this real quick? Also, Nebuchadnezzar, after he was told the translation that his kingdom wouldn't last, he, he was so proud he went to go make a golden statue so everybody could worship it. And that's how these devils are. They know that they have a time limit, but still they seek to keep going. You know, just like Nebuchadnezzar, he yeah. thought his rulership was going to be forever. But just like, just like Daniel was uh, revealed to have, you know, wisdom and power, Most High going to work with us like that. That's already fun. We going to be yeah. able to, uh, to have spiritual powers, man. Huh? You know? Ezekiel 39. Oh, 39. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was on 36. 39 what? 23. There we go. Yeah. It says, um, read that. Yeah. So, what is it? Ezekiel 39 and 23. Wait, let me see. Uh, I'll start from twenty. Uh, I'll start. Oh yeah, I'll, just, I'll start from twenty-three. It says Ezekiel thirty-nine and twenty-three. It says, "And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity yep. for their iniquity." Yep. Right? The heathen, e e Esau, these other nations, they're gonna know that 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 we went into captivity for our sins. Yep. This this was just a punishment. Yep. Right? It says, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Can you get Isaiah 47 yeah. and uh, 5 or 6 where it says I was robbing my people? Yeah. Okay, can you get that real quick? It's Isaiah 47, 5 and 6, all right? It says, this is why we went into captivity. This is why the Lord allowed these other nations to rule over us, all right? It says, start at verse 1. Yeah, it says I was robbing my people. I'm putting my inheritance. Yeah. This uh, verse six, verse six. Oh, it says, "I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance." What's one way that how did the Lord allow this inheritance to be polluted? Allowing you, you all the nations to be in there, mainly yeah. you, you rats, you yeah. so-called Jews. Are yeah. oh, you polluted the land, man? Or right, what's your abomination? Because, like for example, what we were saying earlier, the city in Tel Aviv, the gay city. You're polluting the land. You're polluting the Lord's sight, man. All right. Go ahead. Says and given them into thine hand, thou didn't show no mercy. Yeah, Esau, when when the Lord gave us into the hand, right? Esau went overboard with it, man. Yeah. It didn't show us no mercy at all, even to this day. Okay, go ahead. It says I have showed them no no mercy. And, and they and they they ruled, they put us in slavery and wickedness, man. Yeah. You know, allowing having us, you know, uh, uh, pop our mothers. You know, yeah, exactly. that's where that term motherfucker comes from. Having us fight each other for sport and game, and you know, um, um, cutting off our nuts. All right, these so-called white men did that shit, man. Yeah, Hanging us, yeah. feeding us the alligators, using us as baits. 
Come on, man. And the list goes on and on and on and on. All right, and you you so-called white. People. That's why, that's why in, in these other nations they're gonna get it too. But Esau, you're gonna get it at the worst, man. Yeah, yeah. Cause you got a lot of shit to pay for. You're a fugitive, and you're you're a fucking fugitive that's about to be caught, man. All I think right? it says also if you if your brother trespass against you, and he asks for forgiveness, you shall forgive him. Right. And Esau is our so-called brother. He didn't forgive us. If we was yeah. crying out to him saying sorry or whatever and they beat us down even more yeah, yeah. that's right go ahead no. it says and giving them into thine hand See, he gave the most high gave his people over to your hand esau and look what you did all right look what you did you don't even let you didn't let him know you took away your heritage it was really the lord it was the lord that did that you didn't even want to let our you don't want to let our people know who they really are yeah. you want to continue to blind them all right because now the, the, now that they're not enough physical slavery they're more in a mental slavery not you know not knowing who they are yeah okay if you were if we were so-called free how come we're still here we should have if we were free took us back to where you got us from yeah all right you give us our stuff back yep if you we were free right go ahead and we wouldn't have to go sign everything by contracts and shit like that you know God. go to these marriage count marriage things and shit man everything yeah. should just be there man did you birth certificate? Birth certificate, yeah. Finish that? Is that verse, verse 6? No, no, let me finish it. Six. Thou didst show no mercy upon thine ancient, upon the ancient, as thou verily heavenly laid thy yoke. Alright. Alright. Uh, Ezekiel 39 and 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespass against me. Therefore hid I my face from them. See? So the Lord hid his face from us. He allowed these other nations to, to gather us up from Africa and from certain parts of the world and bring us over here, man. All right? The Lord allowed that to happen, okay? It says, it says, um, and gave them into the hand of their enemies, so fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. And, and that's the Lord's doing that now through the elect. It all starts with the elect. Man. Yeah. The Lord is bringing us back again. The Lord is setting us in order right in front of our enemy's eyes. And the ones I know, the wicked elites, that, that the wicked elites of this world, they know, they see it. And they're gnashing their teeth, man. They're, they're scared. They're not scared of niggas with guns. They're scared of, they're scared of the men of the Lord. All right, they're scared of the men that know who they are. That's who they're afraid of. Um, I forgot, uh, um, one of the one of the one of the fears of the Illuminati is people waking up. All right, mainly these people waking up to who they are, coming back to the, coming back to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, yeah, coming back to Yahweh, Shah, because they know what what's going to happen. That's why. Right? Yeah. That's why in the Bible this is considered as a sword, man. <laughs> That's right. And they'll cut your ass for real. Yeah. It says. Verse 26, and after that they have borne their shame, and this is what we're right now we're borning our shame. Okay? It says, and all their trespass whereby they have trespassed against me, when they dwelt safely in the land, and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people and guarded them out of their enemies' lands, from America, North North uh, United States of America, North America, Central America, South America, wherever Israel is scattered, the Lord's gonna gather us. Alright, and that's not all of Israel, the, just the elect of Israel, because the elect are scattered abroad, but mainly them, the elect are here, right? It says, um, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their power, how bushing how shy, which caused them to be led in captivity among the heathen. But I have guided them onto their own land, and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them, for I poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saying, Yahweh bless you, Yahweh Read Ezekiel 36. The Lord removed that stony heart, that, that, that wicked heart that we have, and put a flesh heart, that righteous heart, man. And he will deal with us forever, forever, forever. So you nations will never rule again, man. Because we're going to be gods. There's nothing you can, there's nothing, you can't go to war against God. <laughs> the Lord said, I should put my spirit upon him. The Lord gave us a winning chance when he gave us his spirit. That's right. That was it. That's it. Yeah. Hey, we're closing out. Hope you uh, all been edified, man. Hope you continue to fight and continue to faith, man. So we're going to 
continue to give all praises to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the apostles that rule well. Much salutation, blessings, word for the Ophelech, Ophelech families. Shalom. Shalom.